Hi everybody, Shannon and Karen with Wandering Out Yonder and guess what? Winter is coming guys. If you look up in the trees you can see the changing of the fall colors which means colder weather is coming. So Shannon and I have been making some changes in preparation for the winter weather. All right, I'll take you guys inside. Come on in. some lights. All right, come on in. All right, everybody. So like we said, winter is coming. So Shannon and I decided to make a few changes to add a little bit more warmth to our van setup. Uh, one of the first things that we bought here recently are some new blankets for our bed. And after being in the Southwest, we really kind of um, both uh, gravitated towards this sort of Southwest looking themed blanket. Nice and fluffy like that. Yep. All right. This is the, an, an addition that we put on our bed just for extra warmth. Um, and we also bought, these are brand new to us. These are some down quilts that we bought. These are the Kelty brand. This is the Galactic Down Blanket. And they store real nice and easily into these bags. And they don't take up a lot of room. I have a perfect space underneath my cot to store them for the, uh, when we're not using them. But at night, for some extra warmth, if it's going to be really, really cold out, I have this really cool new down blanket. But she and I decided um, this year that we were going to try some different things. One is, like I said, this down blanket. Th these are like throw size blankets that we bought and we each have one. Um, and that's really going to be for the times when it's so cold or maybe we don't have uh, access to power for our heater to be functioning for us that we might want to have these around. Uh, the other thing that we talked about this year to, to test out and we haven't done it yet so when we do we'll let you know how it goes but um, as you guys know we use electric um, heating pads right now so when it's really really cold out or like if we have sore muscles or whatever um, we've been using these electric blankets these are just like sunbeam i think is the brand electric blanket and these are things they're fantastic for keeping you warm when it's cold in here too you just take this and you put it across your body and you're warm um, one of the things that Shannon and I do every season is we go through the van and we redo everything. We set it up for spring and summer, and then when fall rolls around, we set it up for the cold weather. Well, with the cold weather coming, one of the things, again, we talked about using were these throw blankets. Right. We had, I had read, uh, Karen kept suggesting these electric blankets. Um, an electric blanket will take a little bit less power than these, but this particular blanket we actually found at a yard sale, mm -hmm. which Karen's son is going to laugh. We paid a dollar for it. <laughs> it's brand new. It's kind of a joke with Karen's son that we pay a dollar for everything at a yard sale, and sometimes we do. Um, but the reason that we went with this is it is a 12 volt yeah. power supplied mm -hmm. blanket which means um, they're designed, they're, they're car blankets. They're designed to plug into the cigarette lighter in your vehicle. Now we don't use this, I don't even think there is a cigarette lighter in There's the not. van. Mm -hmm. um, so we don't use this off of our van power. No. We do however use it off of our Jackery, our grow lot, any kind of external power that we can. That's how we charge, uh, that's how we use the heating pads, anything basically under a thousand watts, we can power off of those units. Right, and that's when we don't have land power. Right. right, so we had done some videos. Karen did a lot of testing and experiments on how long our battery life would last to keep us warm. And I think more importantly, the achy muscles with the heat pads, how long we could get off of that. And what was it three and a half hours we figured that was with our jackery now we yeah. have one of the smaller jackeries the grow walk with the uh the grow walk that we have is a 550 yeah I believe. it's a thousand so watt. there's more power with that one so it will probably better perform for us if we are in a position where we do not have land power and we do need some either a heat pad or like shannon said these um 
uh, throw blankets. Right. Here. So, long story short, the 12 volt, we should get longer usage out of the 12 volt because it doesn't have to be inverted as opposed to a regular plug. Right. So, we are hoping to experiment with that. We have two back-to-back -back upcoming trips that we're going to be gone for almost a week with no power with no, no land, land power, power. Mm -hmm. right and um up in the mountains so and it cold. gets cold yeah mm -hmm. the last time that we were at one of the destinations is one of the coldest times i remember camping and i i was cold right. so i am all about trying anything to avoid getting in that situation again so, so we're hoping we, yeah we've not had a chance to test these out and when we do we'll let you know how it goes um, but like I said, we are trying to prep ourselves for some winter camping. We love camping in the winter. We love taking Fran out. Um, we are not the kind of people that hunker down in the winter. We are always looking for ways to add warmth to our living situation. Right, right. 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 So some new blankets, that was, that was a good start for us. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in addition to utilizing, of course, our very comfy warm bed, which by the way, guys, we have even underneath this bed this is one of those coleman cots we have a uh, those are the thermo ridge uh or i'm sorry thermo rest sleep pads right so that is an insulation barrier as well as this um, mattress that we have here and all of our blankets and all of our extra blankets that we have here heating pads uh, right next to us, we also have a pair of, each of us, we have some down booties. And let me tell you, you put these things on and your feet are warm. And if you feel like you need more warmth, you just stick a few of these on the bottom of your feet. And you put them down in this and you are toasty, toasty warm. Yes. These, that trip that I was just talking about that I was so cold, Karen had these in her arsenal and that is what saved me that trip right yes and we also keep handy i know you guys have noticed like all our bins and everything here we keep handy all of our uh, warm weather clothing when it's we're camping in uh cold weather so like in this um this one right here there's all of our thermal you know the smart wool the pants um some extra socks some of the waffle design um i think this is a patagonia piece that you have here isn't it shannon but anyhow that's handy as well. So we really and truly, I think we're pretty much ready for uh, some cold weather camping. All right, so everything that Karen just showed you, in case you haven't picked up one, we concentrate on keeping our bunks warm mm -hmm. as opposed to the entire van. We are not insulated. Mm -hmm. We don't live in the van full time. We take the van out on our adventures. Mm -hmm. So. Prior to van life, we were used to tent camping in very cold weather. So we learned to layer. We learned that how we dress and what we sleep in is how to keep warm. Exactly. And we applied that to the van. Right. Because we did not want, as we've said this many times before, we didn't want to do the, the typical van build out with the cabinets and so forth. And again, if that's your, your choice, that's fine. It just wasn't for Shannon and I. But... Um, yeah, we um, preferred to have the van set up this way, and we have had absolutely no issues ever. No, in the and cold weather. and we have we have camped in cold weather. Very we cold. have mm -hmm. camped down to what was it, fifteen mm -hmm. in Amarillo that mm -hmm. morning. We woke up. Now people have asked, "Don't you get cold?" The van sometimes gets cold, mm -hmm. but never never to the point where it's unbearable. Our theory is that if it's 15 degrees outside and it's 45 degrees in the van, that's pretty good. We're winning. <laughs> yeah. Right. So we're that's fine. great yeah. for us. Right. So as long as we can keep ourselves warm in our bunk, we don't necessarily need the entire van to feel like, like, like a house. Mm -hmm. So I think that that's helpful. Right. But, All right. So something that we figured out on our out west road trip was, um, we were keeping the van at a comfortable temperature. We can get the van up to what, Karen? In the 60s, if, if the weather and the conditions are right. Mm -hmm. But there was there was constantly a, a draft here. So Even with the door closed. Even with we the door closed, right, mm -hmm. which is not 100% closed right now because it's not winter, but when it's closed. So I found this at a Goodwill for a dollar. <laughs> it is a down blanket. 
and I originally had gotten it for us to have for sitting around the fire, sitting around outside, and found that we weren't using it for that. So one night I decided to take the down blanket, some of our magnets, and now on those really, really cold nights, in addition to these come, these come down, these are insulated. So that, that helps keep some of the draft coming in from the windows, but you're opening here. So if I take this, and you get the picture, I just hang it up across the back. That helps keep in some of our body heat. If we're lucky and we have the heater running, that helps radiate some of that heat back and it keeps that cold draft from coming in the back doors. This, I would say, once we figured this out, we were able to keep the van probably a good five to seven degrees warmer At least. just by throwing up this blanket. Right. All right. So we really just wanted to share with you because winter's just around the corner. Uh, and, and we wanted to share because we have had quite a few questions about it, how we stay warm in here over and over again. But we did want to make sure that we shared and showed you some of the new things that we've picked up that we're going to try out. We'll let you know how the, the throw, the heated throw blanket goes. I have a feeling we're probably both going to love yeah, that. Yeah, I have a feeling we'll, we'll be ordering a second one. Yeah. Uh, I would su suggest if you're just starting out to concentrate first on your bed. Um, first of all, you have to travel comfortably. So start out with your bed. Make sure it's comfortable. Then take a look, a hard look at how you're going to stay warm. If you're planning on winter camping like we are how you're going to insulate yourself. As long as you can insulate yourself in your bed, you're going to be fine no matter what happens. You lose power somewhere, um, whatever the situation might be. So uh, that's what I would strongly suggest that you do first. All right, and everyone's situations are different. Everyone, not what works for us may not work for you. Mm -hmm. And other videos that are out there that we have watched, we doesn't work for us right. so we have come up with some of our own methods right. and this is what we have come up with right. hopefully it'll help you guys out if you have any specific questions though feel free to ask we'll try to answer mm -hmm. or maybe we'll get some ideas from you guys right. Mm -hmm. all right guys so thanks for watching we hope we help somebody out we'll see you later all right bye